a twin like 3D planet in space kind of deal. So uh, a couple things that you'll need that I got over here are just some like raw images. Uh, one's like a texture uh, that I'm going to use to make the planet. And then another one is um, a uh, like star kind of background. So, <clears throat> Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this texture over and pull it up in Photoshop. Hopefully I can run through this kind of quickly. So we'll give that a second to load. Um, now we're going to render this as a 3D object. So this is on uh, CS5 Extended. So just go create a 3D and put new shape from layer. Oh, no, that's not the right one. All right. So like I tried to do before, new shape from layer, we'll go down to sphere. Right, so it gives you this uh, circle and um, then you can go over here to this tool and uh, use the roll tool and that allows you to grab it and move it around. So we'll find just the part that looks nice and that we want to use. And this other one, the rotate tool, allows you to move it all around. And you see uh, it's got kind of like this deal right here. Um, we don't want that to show. <laughs> so, that looks pretty good. I think I'll use that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is go over here to this background double click on it and it's going to bring up the texture and a new deal up here then we're going to go to adjustments and levels and we're just going to want to make it look a little different so we're going to bring our lights in bring our midtones over and uh, that looks pretty good so let's run with that and then when you click back over here it's going to automatically apply those changes so the next thing we're going to do is uh, bring our galaxy or star background in and uh, so I'll just scale this to fit that there we go hit enter and then go back to our layers and just move this underneath that and then rasterize the layer cool uh, now what we're going to want to do is uh, scale our planet so since it's a 3D object you have to size it and move it with this deal so we'll go to uh, 3D object scale tool select our 3D object and then just if you click it and pull it down it'll scale it to a better size that you want to work with and when you want to move it you go to pan tool and you can grab it move it over. That looks pretty good right there. Uh, the next thing that we're going to want to do is uh, just paint. So we're going to uh, create a new layer. I'm just going to call it paint. Uh, now I, I downloaded some custom brushes but uh, I'll show you a way to kind of get the same effect. Um, if, even if you don't have them, so. Alright, now I'm just going to make this brush pretty big. And I don't like the way that it's set, so I'm going to go over here to the brush settings and rotate it. And that looks pretty good. Now I've selected a color that uh, is one of these colors back here. So that way it kind of keeps the same theme. Um, and I just got a few brushes that I like to use with this. So this is another one. I 
And again, I don't like the positioning of it, so let's rotate it. That's better. All right, finally, this brush. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an eraser and uh, change my opacity down and make sure it's the default soft brush up here. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of erase what's in this planet a little bit because we've kind of lost it. So bring that back out some. Pretty nice. Um, <coughs> now, uh, like I said, if you don't have these custom brushes, you can always select your paint layer, go to filter, and then liquefy. And just take this uh, liquefy tool and kind of mess with some of this stuff to give it like a the same kind of look. Pretty good. I'm gonna apply that <clears throat> with a, a normal kind of brush or like a grass brush or something. So, all right. Uh, next, we're gonna go back to our planet, which this one is just called background. And we're gonna go in here to effects, and uh, we're gonna select color overlay and uh, our blend mode. Uh, we're going to set on overlay and um, we're just going to select a color from the surrounding areas to kind of tie it all in. So, wait just a sec while I do that. pretty good. It's almost the same color as what I had, um, but not quite. So, uh, next we're going to put some shadows on the planet. So we're just going to hit new layer. I'm going to call it shadows. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is clip it. So if you hit the alt key and then like move your cursor over this, it'll change. And so you got it clipped to this layer. And why we want to do that is because we're going to grab our elliptical tool. And um, holding alt and shift, you're going to uh, start from the middle and uh, just make a circle. So. As you can see, that area is selected. It's about the same size. Um, if you have black as your background color, you can just hit Control Backspace, and that'll fill that. And um, go ahead and deselect it, Control D. And uh, we're just gonna move it. So Control T. All right there, looks good. Um, and then we're gonna go to Filter and blur and Gaussian blur. I'm just gonna make it look. Yeah. Something like that. And uh like control alt J. And it's gonna duplicate the layer. Um, and then hit control T. And we're just gonna move this one to like the left side of First, you're going to have to clip it. <laughs> Alright, now we can move it. Just going to want to move it to the like the left side. Just like that. <laughs> Alright. 
And then we're gonna change these uh, blend modes to overlay on these shadows. So you get something like that. All right, next, um, we're gonna create an adjustment layer. And uh, so we're going to clip this layer just like we clipped those layers by pressing Alt and putting the cursor right between them to get that little Venn diagram deal. Okay, so now we're going to just brighten up like the top of the planet. And bring the midtones over so you get a better look. Alright. Alright, now we're going to go back to our layers and select our paint. So that looks pretty good. Um, now we're just gonna uh, go to our background. We're gonna hit Control Alt J, and that's gonna duplicate that layer. Um, so since again it's a 3D deal, you're gonna want to go over here to this 3D pan, pan tool. So what I what I just did is had to find the the planet or whatever and uh, move it. Then we're gonna go over here to our our scale, three D scale tool, and just scale it down quite a bit smaller. That was pretty good. And uh, then we're gonna go back to our eraser and select our paint layer and just kind of erase out some of this so we can see our planet again. Right. Now we're, all we gotta do is just uh, put the shadows and stuff back on it. So um, again, the way we did that is created a new layer. And call it shadows too. Selected our Eclipse Marquee tool, or shape tool, and then went to the planet, hang Alt Shift, and did something like that, and then hit Control Backspace, and that allowed us to fill it, deselect, transform. Moved it to the edge. That is after we clip it. We just duplicate that layer. it as well. 